One of the most mentioned comments in the Yogi video series on my channel was that it must have been insurance fraud. In my Q&A, or part 3, I gave my own opinions on this, but still most people said they believed it was because of insurance. The one remaining question I had that I never answered was what payout did Stefan Corby get, if any? And thanks to one of my viewers, a French speaker, he sent me information that once translated gave me the answers I was looking for. I felt I needed to make this small addendum to finally finish off the series, to, and obviously to let you all know how much money he eventually did get. So according to this newspaper, of, of which name I'm not going to try and pronounce, Mosiat Yogi, the largest ever French registered Supiat at the time, had been insured for 35 million euros with AXA insurance. However, they refused to pay out because of the discovery of the changes made to the keel of which the insurance company had not been informed. Mr. Corby decided not to embark on a long lawsuit and instead decided to negotiate with them. He eventually received just 13 million euros, a net loss of 22 million euros. Corby referred to his Supiat experience as a sin of pride and vowed never to attempt anything like this again. I will never buy a boat again, he said to friends afterwards. Of course, him being stiffed by the insurance is not evidence that it was not insurance fraud, as he wouldn't have known how things would have ended up once all the negotiations had finished. Kobe probably was unaware also of the extra ballast being welded to the keel in order to account for the extra weight added to the top deck of the boat. However, the extra weight added was work asked for by Kobe himself. Nevertheless, a tough lesson learned by Kobe. What do you think about the payout? And are you surprised by the insurance company's actions? Leave a comment below.